morning, authorities are working to identify the truck driver who was killed when he hit a bridge in Upper Saucon Township yesterday morning. What's up, guys? Lockout Men here, back in the truck, getting ready to start a fresh new week and a fresh new week of reaction videos for you guys. This particular reaction video is in response to a subscriber that has sent me a link to this article, this situation that has happened. He sent me this comment and it says, what's up, Lockout Men? I've been a subscriber to your channel for quite some time now and I would love for you to take a look into this deadly truck wreck and give some advice to us as far as safety wise. It happened on I-78 at Exit 60 right up under the Route 309 overpass around 4.45 a.m. yesterday that is 7:18:19. so this is last week Thursday I believe. The late driver was a good friend of my cousin. The accident affects me so much. So please look it up and share some advice with, with your fellow followers. <sighs> look, man, I, I, I went to the article, I read it, and I, I seen it, and it is so tragic. I'm not even sure of the situation that has happened. It was early in the morning, and by the looks of it, I'm going to say it was fatigue. You know, he was probably tired. I wouldn't go as far as to say that he was distracted, but being that it was early in the morning, around that, you know, around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, I would assume that he was, he's been driving all night, and he was, he was, fatigue he was just he was just tired he was just tired guys you got to understand when 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 sleep patterns differs in this industry you got to adapt to get the proper rest in if you got something that's delivering in the morning and it causes you to drive overnight definitely get the adequate rest that you need six eight ten hours you know what i'm saying just as long as you get that rest that you need to get so you can get to your destination safely morning authorities are working to identify the truck driver who was killed when he hit a bridge in upper Saucon township yesterday morning that fiery crash caused heavy traffic issues through most of the day with the route 309 bridge not fully reopening until just before 10 last night state police say the driver lost control of his rig hit a median on 78 east then bounced off that and into a support pillar for the 309 overpass the crash and resulting fire is what shut things down for such a long time. If you go look at the bridge right now, you can see it was had to be a fire because there's uh, burn marks all over the uh, pier and also a couple of the beams under the bridge that support the bridge decks. The truck driver's death adds to a rising death toll on this stretch of highway. It's the fourth deadly accident on this stretch of 78 since 2013. Police are saying that uh, there could be damage to this 309 overpass. So right now, 78 east and westbound here at 309 still shut down in both directions. So in another incident that's involving a bridge, this one right here happened in California. Uh, unfortunately for this driver or drivers, uh, looked like it was a team driver. This happened at midnight and this report comes from CDL life. That's a awesome trucking information and news, uh, website that you guys should check out if y'all hadn't checked it out already. But, uh, this situation happened last week as well. Um, the crash was reported just before midnight on Wednesday, July 17th, near Slymore, California. 
Authorities say that the truck was hauling produce southbound on the 5 freeway when the truck driver swerved off the road and collided with the bridge pillar. This is just a video though of the aftermath. CHP officers say the big rig uh, was headed south on the 5 freeway in the truck route near the 210 transition road and for some reason the driver lost control and hit a bridge pillar. This happened around 1145 last night and still very active scene out here. The driver and his passenger got trapped inside of the big rig and firefighters were called in to help with the rescue, but sadly that driver was pronounced dead on scene. The other man was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. A CHP officer we spoke with earlier described what happened. The truck drifted to the left, where it struck the bridge pillar, which carries the westbound 210 to southbound I-5 transition road. At that point, the uh, grapes in the uh, truck shifted. They came forward, and as a result of the collision, there was one party that was trapped inside the truck. Now, the truck did not explode. It's just, yee, ugly, ugly accident. The crash left both truck driver and passenger trapped inside. But unfortunately, the driver of the truck has passed, uh, has passed at the scene. And the passenger was taken to the hospital. So... Let's uh, let's hope for a speedy recovery for the passenger, and uh, and a rest in heaven for the uh, for the driver. Let's just take our times out here, y'all. Let's just take our time. These products is not worth our lives. You see what I'm saying? It's just not. It's not worth our lives. You know, if it's gonna be late. It's going to be late. If it's if you're not going to make your appointment, you're just not going to make your appointment. You got to get rest. You got to stay focused. You got to be non-distractive. All right? Non-distractive means no texting, no being on the phone. A lot of you drivers do have, uh, have Bluetooth headsets. But some of these trucking companies are not even allowing you to even use your Bluetooth headset. They want you to like be like zone in to what you're doing in it, and that's driving. All right, guys, what do you think? What do you think of this video? React to me. Let me know how you feel about these videos in the comments below. Let me know what you think that could have probably had happen i don't know i'm thinking fatigue that was in the first uh article the second article something must have happened to shift the the shift the weight of the trailer to force them into the into the bridge pillar but react to me let me know so that's about it if you guys like these videos and more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that bell so whenever these videos come out, you'll get notified and they'll pop right up there to you, man. Yo, I hope you guys like the new sound, the new setup from the uh, Yeti mic. It sounds real good on my end, and I hope it sounds real good on your end. Yo, hook a brother up with some coffee, man. Support the channel because none of these videos are monetized. You know, YouTube just not monetizing them. I, I don't get it. But anyway, I'm locked out, man, and I'll come back at you with another reaction video. You guys have a blessed day. Peace. Heavy traffic issues through most of the day with the Route 309 bridge not fully reopening until just before 10 last night.